Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create a Keras model. A Keras model is a way of defining a neural network. Kera is originally a neural network library, but nowadays Keras model, the way of defining a neural network, has been adopted by TensorFlow, PyTorch, and other competitors in this deep neural network world. In this one, you'll be answering a couple of questions regarding the information that you need to compute this uh, or design this neural network. So make sure you watch the lecture series and also read the external articles and the proposed books in this uh, lecture series. So let's get started. So I'll go through the code. What you need to have is a defined batch size, a number of hidden units. This the definition for hidden units will be discussed in the lectures. So if you go through the lectures, you already know what is a hidden unit. So the first layer is a dense layer. But before that, you need to define the model. So this is how you do in Keras. You call it like this, model equals sequential. You open parentheses and close parentheses. So you get a model. And for this model, you can add different layers. So in this one, as I earlier said, we'll be just creating a shallow neural network which only has two layers. In the first layer, you'll be creating a dense layer which has the input shape of the input size that we defined earlier, it's 784. And the number of hidden units which calls, the, calls as the output of this layer is the number of hidden units, it's 64. In the next layer, the input is coming from this dense layer we defined previously. And this dense layer will have the input shape 64, and the output shape is the number of labels, which was calculated as number 10 previously. The idea is we need to classify, and we need to know which group this belongs to. So that's why the last layer only has 10 units, 10 output units. So each unit will tell how much uh, each layer looks like the given number. So you calculate the best uh, output which has the highest probability and you say okay this is the number that we are predicting. The last function is an uh, activation function which is being applied on the dense layer. You need to find out why do we use softmax here. It's an important question to be answered uh, in the assignment given for this lab. The next step is like you create a model summary and you try to plot the summary. Let's take a look at the summary. So summary says the output shape and the number of parameters you learned. The number of parameter means like you have hidden units and there are features that you go through and the number of features that you learn in each layer it's uh, recorded here. When we call this line it creates a visual uh, output of the model that we created. So this can be understand understood very easily. Here you can see there's a dense layer which has the input shape of 784 and the output shape is also 784. It is just the input layer and this input layer becomes uh, the output of this input layer becomes an input to the dense layer which has 784 input type and the output shape is 664 which is the number of hidden units which is mentioned here. And this output of the this dense layer becomes an input to the second dense layer, which is 64, and the output is 10, because we said here it's just 10, number of labels. In the last one, we just do the activation. This is not actually a layer, but the way we model it, we added as a, another input to the graph. So it says the input size is 10, output is also same. This just do an activation. You need to read about what softmax layers does, and there are some other layers which can do uh, different activations. You need to learn about that as well. In the lecture series, this will be discussed in detail. In the next step, let's learn how to compile this model and train the model. 